told that the marks obtained by some students in a test are shown in the table below. So these are the marks on the first row and the frequency of the students in the second row. Then we are asked to find the median mark and the summation of the median and the range mark. So in this particular question that we have frequency being featured, we also find the median mark. We need to know the total number of students by adding all of these frequencies together. So we have 3, 5, 9, 12, 8, 6, 5, and 2. We want to add that. We have 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 12 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2. That's what 50. So the total number of students, total number of students as featured here is 50. Now we need to know this so that we can find the median mark because the median mark will reflect at the 58th over 2 position. So median mark will be the mark at the at 50 over 2 position and that is that is at the 25th point okay because 50 over 2 is 25 so looking at these numbers you want to add cumulatively so that we'll get to 25 we can say 3 plus 5 that is 8 8 plus 9 that is 17 so here we have here is 17 17 plus 12 that is 29 okay so this is 29 so the 25th position is falling in this particular column So that mark, that mark is going to be at the location here. Yeah, that's why it's going to feature. Okay, but look at this. Ideally, we have the total number of students as 50, meaning that the total number of students is even. And for us to find the median, we actually take the 25th and the 26th position. So it is going to be 6 at the 25th plus 6 at the 26th position all divided by 2. But well, here is quite interesting. We have 6 to be reflecting in both. So the mean mark, the median, not the median. So the median mark definitely will be 6. Had it been that, what we have is an interpolation between 6 and 7. We would have said we are adding 6 and 7, then dividing by 2 to get 6.5. But here, think is good to go our solution is that the median mark so the median mark for this distribution in question one is six okay now in the second case we have to find the summation of the median and the range but first we need to evaluate the range what is the range the range is different between the highest occurring mark and the lowest occurring mark here in this case, you can see we have 10 as the highest mark. We have 3 as the lowest mark. So the range will be the highest mark minus the lowest mark. And for this particular case, that is going to be 10 minus 3. And 10 minus 3 is 7. But that's not what we are asked to find. We are asked to find the summation of the median and the range. So the median which we have evaluated before plus the range that we just evaluated will be median is 6 and the range is 7 and the addition of the 2 will be 13. So 13 is the summation of the median and the range max and the median mark will obtain to be 6 and with that we have solved this question completely. In this question on probabilities, we are told that probabilities of Olu and Tony passing an examination are 2 over 5 and 3 over 4 respectively. We are to find the probability that both of them passes. Now, that is very good. But looking at the information that we have here, we are told that Olu and Tony passing are probabilities 2 over 5 and 3 over 4 respectively. That means probability of Olu passing, if I call that P of O, is going to be 2 over 5 because we have it as respectively. And the probability of Tony passing, that's I want to call that P of T, is going to be 3 over 4. Okay. They respectively assign the first to the first name and the second probability to the second name. Now, the probability 
that both passes probability that both pass is going to give us the product of these two so it's going to be the probability of o multiplied by the probability of t and as simple as that can be that will be 2 over 5 multiplied by 3 over 4 so we can cut here like 2 can go here 1 2 in 4 that is 2 so that we have 1 times 3 as the numerator which is 3 and 5 times 2 as the denominator which is 10 so the probability that both of them pass is 3 over 10 so these are the kind of videos that we constantly upload on day to academy so that they can help you to build your proficiency in your stem subjects and be the best that god had created it to be if you are yet to subscribe to the channel it is free of charge and it's not going to cost you anything but we'll have information and access to all of our videos once we upload them so go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the like button click on the notification bell so that you have notifications of our videos once we upload them and until next time god bless you